So what is your favorite waterproofing system? Like, what do you go to? I mean, really, it comes down to efficiency, speed, the time that it takes to do it. I'm all about quantity of jobs. Um, you know, there is something to be said about um, what, what is like the best waterproofing. And really, I mean, when it comes to these foam boards, it kind of puts both of them into the same thing. I mean, <laughs> you know, the easiness of cutting this, the sealant application makes this very simple and kind of foolproof. And then the waterproofing ability is kind of superior to a lot of other things. You know, you're not going to get any mold issues with foam boards. You're not going to get any rot. Um, and it's this particular board, the hydro block board, it's actually waterproof all the way through. So even if I nicked it or I say if I had all my tile work up and I have a joint that I don't like, I could scribe cut with my grinder. And as long as I don't go all the way through the entire board, I don't really have anything to worry about. So you can nick this. And just as long as you don't go all the way through the board, obviously that's going to create a, a, a leak. You don't have to worry about it. So this is really makes it a lot superior than a lot of other boards out there and a lot of other methods. But if you were to ask me, the sealant application and the foam boards are just my go-to. Um, you know, if I was trying to really try to do as many showers as I wanted to, that I would just stock my garage full of this stuff and then just get to work because this whole tub's around probably take me about an hour to install and then I could get into tiling the same day if I wanted to. How much is it? This stuff, um, it really, obviously it always depends on where you live. And, you know, online retailers are always going to be the most expensive shipping. It can be tough, but I called around. It's really, really reasonable. About 31 bucks a sheet for contractor pricing. I mean, that's, you know, you have to take that with a grain of salt. It's 2023. Things could be changing by the end of the year. Um, but that's pretty competitive. Actually, it's really competitive to a lot of the other big brands out there. So, um, you know, like I said, I'd probably buy a whole pallet of this and put it in my garage and I'd be just be able to really quickly and efficiently do tub surrounds like this. And how do you cut it? Cutting it? It's just as simple as it can be. There's no dust. That's one thing about uh, foam boards. I don't have to inhale any of that really toxic stuff. I just love how on the tags of a lot of these uh, products they say it causes cancer in California, as if it doesn't cause cancer everywhere else. Uh, but I know that the concrete dust and, and uh, silica dust and, and the dust that comes off a hardy backer is absolutely no good for you. You know, I've definitely inhaled way too much of that stuff. So this stuff, I mean, it's literally just a score of a knife, just like drywall, and you're done. I mean, and the other great thing is if I needed to scribe cut something, I could just kind of cut it and then be able to get it into it. You can't do that with cement board, hardy backer, forget it. Um, you know, that's really one of the main reasons I had always had a dusty issue with uh, Hardy Backer was if I was putting my board up and I it was sitting outside a little bit I needed to, you know, scribe cut my board and I'd be using a grinder and then the dust would be everywhere So the foam board super simple easy to cut and be able to get into place Plus if you're on a second story, maybe even the third floor You could carry an entire box bring it all the way up there and you're done. So it, there's a lot of reasons um, the foam board is just superior than a lot of the other types of backer boards. Clients' homes, this is ideal, isn't it? To not create Yeah, dust. not to create the dust. And I'll, I'll admit that I, um, you know, I'm trying to avoid the amount of times I have to go down the steps and go out to the, out to the wet saw or whatever it is. So I'm definitely guilty of creating dust and I've tried to implement things like dustless, or not dustless, but uh, shop vacs that you can attach your components too like a grinder and things like that but you know when it comes to like real accurate cuts maybe going around this window i'm still going to use an open-ended grinder to cut it uh and you know it's like it you know most of the clients don't have a problem with the dust at the first day because they kind of expect it during the demo but by the time through day three or day four they're like i can't handle this anymore you got to get out of my house <laughs> So, so if I could avoid anything to create dust, and this does not create any dust, there's nothing to create dust with, um, all the better. So foam board, definitely a dustless type of install.